Hello everybody, it's Explore Vegas, and today we are back at the Bellagio Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. The summer display is up in the conservatory, but the reason we are here is for another buffet review. The Bellagio Buffet has started opening for dinner, which is pretty cool because most buffets that have reopened post-COVID have actually only opened for brunch. The Bellagio remains open for brunch from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every single day, but now they are opening for dinner, and that is from Wednesday through Sunday. The dinner will run you $59.99 on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and it will run you $64.99 Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They also offer a drink package, have that here, $24.99 says they give you all you can drink house wine, draft beer, mimosas, screwdrivers, margaritas, and Bloody Marys. Not a bad deal. Is the new dinner buffet worth it? Well, let's take a look and find out. Some mixed greens, Caesar salad, some spinach, cucumbers, some crumbled blue cheese, Pico de Gallo, olives, some white cheese and cheddar cheese, red onions, chickpeas, hard boiled eggs, tomatoes, some croutons, there's balsamic, Thousand Island, blue cheese, Caesar, Italian, and some ranch. Here's jalapenos, rotisserie chicken, roasted turkey, with white meat and dark meat. Here's some cranberry sauce. They also have turkey gravy and brown gravy on the side here. Don't forget the mashed potatoes and broccolini. Ah, the meats. Let's check out the carving station. Comment below. Are you a prime rib fan or a poultry fan? Here's some roast beef. They also have pork ribs, sausage, and prime rib. Oh man, looks so juicy. They have horseradish and creamy horseradish. Man, look at that plate of meat, so good. There's barbecue sauce and au jus. Grilled asparagus. Mushrooms. T-bone lamb steaks. Wow. There's some mac and cheese. In this section, they have a taco station where you can design your own tacos. Over here, they have Mexican street corn. For the tacos, choose between El Pasto, pork, chicken, tortilla, pineapple, onion, cilantro, queso fresco, salsa verde, and salsa roja. Here's artichoke pizza, margarita pizza, four cheese pizza, and pepperoni pizza. Here we have smoked salmon, cream cheese, and a charcuterie board. Pretty good variety of meats and cheeses. They have three different kinds of pastas and they have some garlic nuts. Would you guys eat pasta at the buffet? I feel like it would fill you up pretty quickly. Comment below, what do you guys think?
let's check out the Asian station. Here they have steamed rice. Got your soy sauce and chili sauce. Here's some vegetable spring rolls. Next to that, there's Chinese broccoli. Here's barbecue pork buns. Shrimp har gao. Pork and shrimp shumai. Here's sweet and spicy noodles. Some fried rice. Sesame chicken. There's caramelized carrots. Cauliflower au gratin. Some mixed vegetables. Broccoli. And mashed potatoes. They have a ramen station. Here you can get tonkatsu, dashi broth, pork belly, tofu, green onion, bean sprout, bamboo shoots, crunchy garlic, kimchi, or chili sauce. Nicely done. Here's salmon, sea bass, Oysters Rockefeller. Clams and mussels. Here are some crab cakes. Now let's look at some of the cold seafood. Fresh oysters. Wow, look at the size of some of those. Here's a shrimp, scallop, and squid salad. Some lemons. Over here is deli seafood salad. Here's green lip mussels. Grab some tartar sauce or cocktail sauce, why don't you? Ah yes, peeled shrimp. Nothing like shrimp cocktail that's already peeled for you. They have another section with seafood. Here's tuna poke. Octopus salad. Salmon poke. Over here there's edamame kimchi, and some spicy peppers. We're gonna go ahead and try some of this food before we continue the tour. Stir things off with one of these oysters on the half shell. Mm. Mm. So fresh. Tuna poke. Ooh, it's lightly seasoned. There's some sesame and green onion. Some other seasoning on there too. It's actually quite good. This is octopus salad. I'm gonna try that one. Wow, that is delicious. I'm gonna try some shrimp cocktail. It's already peeled. For those of you who watch our buffet videos, you know how I feel about peeled shrimp. It's gotta be peeled for me to eat it.
Mmm. Now that is fresh. This one here is a deli seafood salad. And it has some scallops in there as well as shrimp. Mmm. There's that deli seasoning on there. Mmm. Just slightly creamy, but delicious. They didn't overdo it. Let's take a look at some more of the offerings. Here we have seasonal fruit, ancient Greek salad, strawberry kale salad, crispy Asian salad. Order yourself a hand roll of sushi, why don't you? You can choose between tuna, salmon, and crab, and they have some accompaniments with it. Get some seaweed, avocado, cucumber, carrot, Now that looks tasty. Grab yourself some ginger or wasabi if you like. And they have a sushi boat with a variety of cut rolls. Here's some fresh clam chowder. Some dinner rolls. Here's tomato basil soup. Looks fresh. Grab some butter or peanut butter and get some multi-grain bread, cranberry bread, olive bread, or lavish. Here's miso soup. Some more bread. Chicken noodle soup. Man, they really want you to fill up on bread here. Don't do it. Here's some fresh seasonal fruit. And let's try some more dishes. I'm gonna taste some dim sum here. And some shumai. And hargyal. Not bad. There we go. Mm. We're gonna try one of these oyster Rockefellers. Mm. On the dry side, but it has some decent taste to it. This one is sea bass. Ooh, that's a big bite. Man, now that is good. The sea bass is delicious. Try a little piece of salmon. Scoop it on my fork here, and we'll get another piece. There we go. Salmon is moist, not bad. This one here is sesame chicken. Nice and sesame chicken. Yeah, that was pretty good too. Let's try, this is a fish cake, I believe. A little bit of sauce underneath. a crab cake yeah. and it was actually pretty good got a little spice to it just a little kick not too bad I don't like things really spicy but this isn't bad 
Mm. Mm -mm. This is a T-bone lamb steak. Let's try T-bone lamb. Mm. Mm, that one is tasty. That is really tasty. Moist. Not overdone. Really, really good. We'll continue the tour with a look at the desserts. Here's some ice cream toppings. You got your granola, sprinkles, and butterfingers. Some chocolate and caramel sauce. And gelato. They have caramel and salt, birthday cake, peanut butter, strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, lemon sorbet, red raspberry sorbet. Here's pecan pie. Key lime pie. Carrot cake. Oreo cheesecake. Mmm. Chocolate cupcakes. Some lemon cake. There's tiramisu. Here they have assorted macaroons. Like five or six different kinds. The pistachio one looks yummy. Here's some poppy seed muffins and some chocolate molten cake. Here's the no sugar added section. They have orange cream panna cotta, raspberry mousse, strawberry panna cotta. Here's espresso pot a creme. No more no sugar added desserts. Here's donuts. Some assorted danishes and assorted cookies. A new addition to the dessert section is the crepe station. You can get strawberry, banana, blueberry, raspberry, Nutella, chocolate, caramel, or whipped cream. They make it fresh right in front of you. Looks so yummy. Let's go try some desserts. One thing they did do here at the Bellagio Buffet is they stepped up the dessert game a little bit. I see some new things. Uh, most of this is new. I remember the cupcakes and the key lime pie. I think they may have had tiramisu. But the manicotta there's a few varieties now i think there was strawberry before this is orange over here also there's chocolate molten cake variety of macaroons and there's oreo cheesecake can't eat them all but i'm gonna go ahead and give some a shot let's start with this orange manicotta orange cream manicotta And it tastes like orange creamsicle. All right, let's try a little bit of Oreo cheesecake. Oreo cheesecake. Well, that one is good. That could be very addicting. Do allow it to be. Let's try a little bit of tiramisu. Sierra and the Sioux. Mm. 
well. It's kind of soft. And that coffee flavor hits you at the end, too. Really good. Here's carrot cake. Try a little bit of carrot cake. Mmm. Very, very yummy. And usually carrot cake at a buffet is really dry. This wasn't bad. Taste one of those walnuts on the top. Mmm. Mm -mm. Gonna try a drop of this key lime pie. And a little bit of the filling. Pretty tangy. Alright, we'll try some of the strawberry manicotta. Fresh. Real fresh. Not sure what this one is. There's no sign there. Come in below. Do you know what it is? Hmm. Like a hint of lemon. What kind of lemon cake? Let's try the chocolate molten cake. Surprise, I expected to see some kind of chocolate filling come out. Oh no, that one, that one is very rich. A little bit harder to eat. Try a little bit of this pastry here. Fair. It's fresh. A lot of times pastries like that can be stale, but it's fresh. And this is hard. Which macaroon do I try? I'm gonna try this green one. It looks like a pistachio. And it was indeed a pistachio. This one looks like raspberry. Mm. Mm. Very good. Cupcake, I don't know how much room I have for the cupcake. It's pretty cool looking toppings there though. Actually, that frosting on the top is, it's not hard, but it's like cold and together. It's not light and fluffy like you'd almost think it'd be. Maybe this is a birthday cake. Not bad. So the desserts, they definitely stepped up their game. Way to go, Bellagio. Beverages are included in the price of the buffet. There's a soda fountain where you could choose your own flavor of soda. They also have juices, coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. There's a full surf bar. You could actually sit and eat there if you'd like. You could also have a drink made. And don't forget about the all-you-can-drink package for $24.99. Some final thoughts on the Bellagio Dinner Buffet. I'll start with a few of the positives. The food was fresh, and the temperature was very well maintained. Many additional offerings were added for dinner. The cold oysters and the sea bass were my favorite dishes, although the made-to-order hand roll sushi was pretty good as well. The buffet does not have king crab legs as it did pre-pandemic. With a price tag of $59.99 to $64.99, I'm really surprised that there were no crab legs. The desserts were stepped up a notch. I like the addition of the macaroons and the made-to-order crepes. 
If crab legs are a deal breaker for you, this is probably not the buffet for you. I personally felt that the offerings were reasonable and more importantly, they were fresh. I would definitely return to this buffet. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. You know it helps the channel tremendously. And remember, it's always a good day to explore Vegas.